I don't mean to be so bold, but you know sometimes when you get to sing the blues, it gets kind of good to you. You get so damn good to me till I have to preach it. Hello, VC. Hello, Vinyl Community. Hello, good people. It's Chris, your blues guy. Cheers, and welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. So I trust everybody out there is doing well and had yourselves a great weekend, a great Mother's Day weekend. Hi, Mom. Um, so today's video is going to be a thread response video. This is a part two, as I'm sure you gathered from the video title. Uh, this was a thread that was started by the Vinyl Guru. Uh, initially, she did a part one, and then she kind of relaxed the standards, relaxed the rules a little bit. Uh, did a part two, and I've seen a lot of others jump in on that, so I thought I would join in as well. Man, she really let the genie out of the bottle on this one. I've got a huge stack of uh, black cover vinyl records here, so um, I'm going to go through them rapid fire, not talk about them too, too much. And you know what? I, I'm not even really going to take them out of the, the plastic because... Uh, that's just a, a task or a chore in itself, putting all that stuff back afterwards. So, hey, you know, eh, we'll try to do the best we can to avoid the glare and all of that stuff. So without further ado, let's get into this thing here, shall we? Kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of in, in alphabetical order-ish as I was pulling them out. So I'm going to start off with Louis Armstrong, Satchmo at Symphony Hall. There we go. Uh, this one I just picked up recently and talked about it in uh, a couple of videos ago. The Bix Bitterbake Legend. Uh, let's see, some more jazz here. Dave Brubeck and the Dave Brubeck Greatest Hits. Some Coleman Hawkins. Serious. Coleman Hawkins. There you go on that Pablo label. This was some VLC, VCLT, very kindly sent to me by our friend Richard Riley last year. Very good album, actually. Hugh Laurie, let them talk. There you go. A nice blues comp here, the blues guitar album. Sort of half and half of black and yellow. Featuring Buddy Guy, Philip Guy, Eddie Kirkland. Elvin Bishop. There we go. I have a cool cover on that one. Roy Buchanan, his debut album. This glare is torturing me. My apologies. The Chicago Blue Stars, featuring Charlie Musselwhite. Eric Clapton, Just One Night. The genius, Brother Ray, Ray Charles, soul feeling. On uh, part one of this, I showed Ry Cooter with bending the rules a little bit. I'm able to show some more Ry Cooter, Boomer's Story. Great album. Got a, a twofer here, Jay Giles Band. Jay Giles Band and Jay Giles Band Live. Uh, got another twofer, Buddy Guy. This is a great compilation of his uh, 58 to 63 recordings. This glare is driving me bananas. Another Buddy Guy, born to play guitar. Oh, look, some Buddy Guy with Junior Wells. Going back to Acoustic, the dynamic blues duo from Chicago. Hey, did I mention Buddy Guy and Junior Wells? Buddy Guy and Junior Wells, Chicago Blues Festival, 1964. Uh, who else have we got here? Oh, I know. How about some Buddy Guy and Junior Wells? Pure Raw Blues. The Wolf. 
Howlin' Wolf. Chester Burnett, a.k.a. Howlin' Wolf. Terrific car. On Chess Records. Screamin' Jay Hawkins. This is the, uh, the singles collection, 1954 to 1957. This glare is really... It's getting to me, man. It's getting to me. John Hammond Jr., John Hammond the second, John Hammond, debut album, terrific album. On part one, I showed some Steve Miller band, so why not show another Steve Miller band? Fly Like an Eagle. It's more John Mayall here, the great John Mayall. This is A Banquet in Blues. Cool cover on that, great album. Uh, this is a band that I have tons, tons of their stuff, but I don't show them that often for some reason. I guess because I haven't really found a lot of their albums in a while. Ten years after. Uh, this is, what is this? Positive Vibrations, ten years after. George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Uh, this is more George Thorogood and the Destroyers. Muddy Waters, more real folk blues. And another Muddy Waters. I think Jonathan over at Cheap and Cheerful may have shown this one. Muddy Waters Live. Great cover on that with the mud. A triple here, another Muddy Waters. This is the Muddy Waters Woodstock album. And lastly, Mr. Johnny Winter, Johnny Winter and. So yeah, there we go. Another uh, fun response to this great thread, great idea. Uh, there's still a lot of this going around, so I've been checking out all of yours and trying to uh, comment and like and all that. So um, speaking of which, would appreciate your feedback. So if you would kindly do so, yoink. Leave me your comments down below. Do all the other YouTube things. And uh, yeah, thanks a lot for your support. And uh, have yourselves a great day. Have yourselves a beautiful spring day. And uh, I'll talk to you again real soon. Most importantly, don't forget, keep digging and keep spinning. All right, everyone. Cheers. Take care. Bye-bye.